These are exact races and fighting styles that are shown to be the best with the brand new T-Rex fruit. So if you want to know them and other items that make the best T-Rex builds make sure you watch this video till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments your experience with the T-Rex fruit. First of all we have to take a quick look at this fruit, so, T-Rex is a beast type fruit that we got in this update 23. It costs 2.7 million peli, or 2350 robux if you want to get the permanent version. So is the fruit any good? Well let me tell you, it's insane, I mean it literally represents a gigantic dinosaur so it has to be really good. It's focused on raw animal power and direct fighting, no magic or anything like that, so it's really good for those straightforward type of players. It's not that hard to master but you have to invest yourself a little bit, the more you use it the better it gets. Also it can be good in fighting multiple players at once as well as PvP, one on one. But maybe some players find it a bit boring, it's not suitable for every playstyle, so if you can make sure to try it out to see if it works for you. Let's start with race. For the race you will want to go with the ghoul race. If you don't know how to get it you can get it at the cursed ship in second C. There you have to defeat the cursed captain boss probably a few times because you need to get the hellfire torch. Not that hard but still you need a couple of tries. Also you will need 100 ectoplasm that can be earned by defeating any enemy on the cursed ship. Then, go to the experiment NPC at the cursed ship and buy the ghoul race. What is the ghoul race good for? Well since you are going to be using the V4 of that race, which if you don't know how to get stay till the end of the video. You're going to get some really insane buffs and abilities, for example you are going to get the life leech which is insanely powerful, aura and so on. Now the accessory, the accessory that you are going to pair this race with is just going to make the race even better, and that accessory is none other than the ghoul mask. You can get it also at the cursed ship for 50 ectoplasm from El Pero NPC. Here are all the buffs that you get from it. The most important one again is the life leech. So, another really important thing is your fighting style. And which fighting style should you use in this build? Well of course the Sanguinard. It's currently the newest fighting style and it has great potential. All moves break observation hockey and you can get some insane combos with it. Also high damage and large range so it can be used for doing raids as well. Not only PvP. But of course there are some cons to it. It has very poor mobility and more importantly. It's insanely hard to get. God human obtainment difficulty is nothing compared to this one but even if you don't mind that and want to know how to get it check this video out. And now the gun. The gun won't be used for dealing damage but more for extending combos. So, you will be using the soul guitar. And in order to get the soul guitar you have to complete the soul guitar puzzle. Which can be a bit tricky. So if you want to know how to complete it step by step make sure to check this video out. And the sword. Of course you are going to go with the best one. Not the dark blade, but the cursed dual katana. Of course it's going to be the best one because of how hard it is to get. Check this video if you want to know how to get it. So, it's literally ideal for combos and it has high damage multi-target attacks which are not that hard to land. It's also good for farming since it has fast attacks, no dashing forward and big hitboxes. But in this build we are focused mostly on PvP. So this sword is a masterpiece except only it's hard to get. And that's the first build. Keep in mind that I found some of these builds so I can't really say this from experience but I did a lot of research so it has to work. For this build we will actually go with the goat human and not the sanguine art. It's more focused on the grindy side of the game but it still is a beast build in the PvP. You can get god human from ancient monk but you have to meet all these requirements. Which can be quite difficult. And for the race you can either go again with ghoul or the angel v4. Angel will allow you to be better at the fighting in air, and you will pair that with a good fighting style and sword that are focused on air combat as well. And the sword like that is the trident. You can get it from the fisherman lord who is located at the underwater city in the first sea. Even though it has really low requirements and is a beginner friendly sword it doesn't mean it's bad in PvP. So, trident has a really good combo potential and great mobility which makes it very decent for PvP. And for the gun you will go with Kabucha. You can get it from the strongest god on the remote island, located at the southeast of the Kingdom of Rose. Is it useful? Well it has really good stuns that allow you to extend your combos so you can one-shot pretty much anyone. And we got another build. For this build we are going with the Electric Claw Fighting Style. Here is the video if you want to know how to get it. It has really good mobility and combo potential, as well as huge damage, so it's incredibly good for PvP. And for the gun we are again going with Kabucha. You already know about it. But for sword we are coming back to the cursed dual katana. I mean it's the goat. And the race is none other than the ghoul v4. So that's about it. 
There are a lot more different builds but the ones that I show you you can't miss anything. So yeah, if you found this video helpful make sure you leave a like and tell me in the comments your best E-Rex build for PvP and grinding. Join our Roblox group. Thanks for watching and see you soon.